guys, so this past Sunday I took a trip down to Leesport, Pennsylvania to go to the Too Many Games convention, which is basically a big indoor flea market with nothing but video games, you know, vendors set up with tables selling systems, imports, games, memorabilia, plushies, and a whole bunch of other stuff. They had game tournaments going on, but I was mainly there just to buy the games. Um, and eventually, too, the angry video game nerd was there signing autographs, but the line, the line up to, you know, get a picture or something like that was just a bit too long, so I passed on that. But I did manage to walk away with a nice stack of games that I'm really happy with, and I wanted to share it with you guys. So, one of the vendors that I went to, I ended up picking up Castlevania on the Super Nintendo. It is complete, however, the box is, you know, in not so excellent condition, but I didn't, ma I didn't really care that much anyway, because... $20, you know, s sometimes the cart alone goes for 20 so I figured I'd pick it up. And I've actually never played Cast Castlevania 4, so I definitely was happy with that. From the same seller, I also got Blue's Journey for the Neo Geo AES. This is the US edition, and this was $35. It's brand new. Um, it had the seal on it. I opened it up, though, because I plan on playing it. Here's the s instructions and the cart. This is actually a platformer, so I was really happy to get this because, you know, from my knowledge, uh, the Neo Geo doesn't have a lot of traditional platformers on it, so I was happy to get this finally. And I definitely want to start building up my Neo Geo collection with some of the more affordable titles. Because um, I have the system, I might as well have the games for it. And from this guy, something that I was also really happy with, I finally got an official Sega Saturn backup cart. Um, because my battery inside of my Sega Saturn did die, so I lost all my save data. I'm really, really most excited because now I can finally go back and start a save file for Panzer Dragoon Saga again. Um, so I definitely want to play through that. Really excited to have this. This is $20. Normally on eBay they go for $40 or $50, so it was a really good price. Another vendor there had a whole bunch of complete Super Nintendo games ranging anywhere from okay condition to excellent condition. And they were priced pretty fairly. And the first game that I bought from them was Goal Patrol. This is complete and in near excellent condition. This is the semi, I guess you can say, official sequel to Zombies Ate My Neighbors. Um, this is the first time that I had ever actually saw the game complete in a box at all. Um, you know, I never went out of my way to ever look for it, but it was $40, so it was a bit pricey, but the condition is really almost brand new, except for a little dent on the front here. Um, supposedly this isn't as good as Zombies Ate My Neighbors, but you know what, I'm such a fan of that game that I just had to buy this one and give it a try. Um, so it's complete, excellent condition, you know, I figured I'd pick it up. And from this guy, I also picked up Paladin's Quest, a turn-based RPG by Enix. I never really heard much about this game. Um, a few people mentioned that it was a pretty underrated turn-based RPG. And I figured I'd pick it up. The guy gave it to me for 15 The box condition is pretty fair on it. It came with the map inside and the manual and everything, so I was pretty happy with it, and uh, I look forward to giving this one a try. I was also happy to see this next one there because I am trying to get every edition of this game. And that's Out of This World for the Super Nintendo. $10 and the box condition is pretty good on it. It's just a little bit indented here. It's complete. And, uh, you know, I have the 3DO version and this is a game that I totally missed out on and I'm now just trying to get into. And I want to get all the versions and find out which one I like the best. And, um, yeah, I was happy to get this for $10, definitely. Somebody else there also had a table set up with a whole bunch of complete and boxed uh, NES games in excellent condition for 5 bucks, And I decided to get Crystallis because I kind of remember hearing something about this game being pretty good. And for $5 I really couldn't pass it up. The box is in excellent condition. It didn't come with the manual or anything, but I figured I'd give it a shot. The box art on it is also pretty nice. I know, sorry about the glare, it's kind of hard to see, but it was in excellent condition so I figured I'd pick it up. I also picked up from somebody else Stella Deus The Gate of Eternity for PS2. It's an Atlas RPG. It was $15, and I was like, you know, I can't remember if that game is worth more than that. Um, it ends up that that's about the going price, but it's a tactical RPG from Atlas, and uh, for that price, I figured I'd add it to my collection. Maybe one of these days I'll get around to trying it out, because it does look like it's pretty fun. And if I remember correctly, some people actually pretty really enjoyed this game, so $15, picked it up. Somebody else had a table set up with a whole bunch of complete Sega Saturn games, and this one stood out to me not only because it was more expensive than the other ones and it had a nice big Atlas logo just sitting on the spine of it, um, but also because I had found out about this game not that long ago and I planned on picking it up uh, when I could soon anyway on eBay or something, and that's Lunacy. And this is actually, from what I know, the only Atlas game to make it to the Sega Saturn in the U.S., and believe it or not, it's not an RPG, it's actually an adventure game in the style of, I guess you can say, Myst, where uh, it has like static screens and they animate every now and then and you solve puzzles. It's a two-disc game. 
Um, it was $30. I talked the person down to $25 because the case was like all cracked up, and I actually had them exchange it out for a better looking case. But I got it for $25, and it's definitely not an easy to find game. This is the first time I had ever saw it other than on eBay, and I was happy to get it because even when they show up on eBay, you know, they go for $35, $40. And uh, 25 was a great price for this, so I'm really happy to have this one. There were two vendors there that had nothing but import games set up, and one of them had a game that really stood out to me because I totally forgot that this was ever ported to the PSP. It's actually, it originated as an import Sega Saturn game, and it's actually the prequel to Odin Spear on the PS2. And if you haven't figured it out yet, it's actually Princess Crown. Um, plays almost exactly like Odin Spear from what I know an action RPG, you know, with hand-drawn sprites and everything. It animates really awesome. And it never made it to the U.S. here. Um, you know, it originated, like I said, on Saturn. It was actually ported to the PSP, and I forgot all about it. Now, this will play on U.S. PSP systems because there's no region protection. I asked the guy how import-friendly the game is in terms of the menus and everything and being able to play the game. He wasn't sure, so I'm kind of hoping that there's some kind of, like, translation guide or walkthrough on the Internet. Because I was really happy to get this, because um, Odin Spear is a great game, and having the prequel on the PSP is just awesome. Um, put out by Atlas, and you know I wanted the PSP version because I don't, I'm not into import Saturn games yet. Um, so I saw this there, I forgot all about it. For fifty dollars, it was a bit steep, but for import games, you know that's about the going price, and I'm happy to add this one to my collection. The other guy there that had import games, I decided to get a game that's... The title is probably much longer than what I'm about to say, but basically the gist of it is... It's Taiko Drum Master 2. And let me tell you, this is all I have been playing since I got back from the trip. It's basically a music rhythm game, a very simple one that gets extremely hard. Um, there's only two notes, there's a red note and a blue note, and there's a drum on the touchscreen. Um, for the red note, you hit the, the drum, and for the blue note, you hit you know the outside of the drum. And they actually give you like two little drumsticks with it. Um, you can play with your fingers, you can play with buttons, or you can play with these styluses. But it's so awesome. The music, you know, has all types of music. It has J-pop, it has video game music, it has classical music. Um, it has all different genres. And it's a lot of fun. There's like 50-something songs, and I've been playing this like non-stop. Um, I think I've beaten almost every game on the hard difficulty. There's another expert, like, Oni difficulty afterwards that I'm kind of trying to get into now, but it's really hard. But this game is awesome. It was $55. I could have probably gotten it cheaper online, but you know what? With shipping and everything like that, I figured I'd just pick it up while I was there. I definitely want to get the first one, and I plan on doing a video for this one so I can show you guys because this is a ton of fun. The music is really catchy and awesome. I've been playing this nonstop. Now, close to where this convention was held, maybe about 10 minutes away, there's a MicroPlay store, and I haven't been into one of those in many years. And I was actually blown away by the amount of games they had in there. They had so many like sealed rare PS2 games, um, everything. They had so much stuff in there. Walls filled with games and they actually had a buy two get one free sale going on. So I decided to take advantage of that with some PS2 RPGs that they had there. The first one that I got was Grow Lancer uh, Generations Heritage of War. And uh, it was forty dollars, but you know with the buy two get one free it was less than that. Now this game actually comes with a whole bunch of like bonus stuff. So not only did you get the game itself but you also got, and this is Atlas by the way, you know, always giving their goodies. You got a keychain. You also got, I think this is like a DVD soundtrack they also gave you with it. You got an art book, which actually has two, like, lent lenticular cards in it. And, they don't even stop there, you get two buttons as well, which are still sealed. So, that's an awesome deal right there. I also got Boulder's Gate Dark Alliance 2 because for the longest time I've been really tempted to buy this in GameStop, but it's like 40 or 50 dollars or something like that. So, I, you know, I picked, I decided to pick it up there. I've heard this game is really awesome. I really enjoyed the first one, so happy I got that. And for the free game, I picked out Eternal Poison. Um, now, I spent a long time trying to figure out what games that I wanted to get with the, you know, buy two get one free, and I finally get up to the counter. And I'm like, alright, everything has everything it should, you know, the manual and everything like that. And, and, and it ends up that Eternal Poison didn't have the soundtrack CD. But, you know, I was already in there for like 45 minutes. I was like, you know what, I'll live, I'll take it. Um, so, it's not going to kill me, I don't have the soundtrack, because for $80, I got three awesome PS2 RPGs. 